India's chief economic advisor has today released the economic survey for the current financial year. Uh, and there are four key takeaways uh, from the economic survey. The first is about the GDP growth in the current financial year. Uh, and here in the, uh, the economic survey says that India will grow anywhere between 6.5 to 7 percent. And this is very much in line with uh, most expectations. Um, and roughly that puts us uh, still amongst the uh, leading uh, global economies in the world. The second thing that uh, the economic survey talks about is the inflation trajectory. Uh, now here, uh, the, the survey's take on inflation is far more optimistic than what is generally considered. As you know, RBI expects the... Um, inflation in this current financial year to be around 6.8%. Uh, and this is way above the comfort zone that RBI had, which is 2 to 6%. And uh, the whole economy has been struggling with that. And uh, uh, very uh, directly high inflation has been held as a big reason why it's holding back people's consumption levels. And that's dragging down growth. Uh, but uh, the survey was far more optimistic and it said that uh, inflation levels and the trajectory that it's coming down um, is, is, is such that inflation is not high enough, uh, it states, and I quote, it is not high enough to deter private consumption and also not low as to weaken the inducement to invest. So in the view of the economic survey, inflation seems to be... a uh, an issue which is largely in control. The economic survey was also quite optimistic about um, the unemployment levels in the country. Uh, it said that both official and unofficial sources confirm that uh, employment levels have risen in the current financial years. And it also said that job creation, and I quote here, job creation appears to have moved into a higher orbit with initial surge in exports and a strong release in pent up demand uh, and the swift rollout of uh, capital expenditure. So um, on the face of it, uh, economic survey is reasonably assured that uh, unemployment is not as much of a concern as some uh, experts have made it out to be, uh, and that job creation is uh, actually moving uh, on fairly good lines. Uh, the fourth big uh, takeaway from the economic survey is on the outlook for the next financial year. Uh, and here the survey says that the GDP in the next financial year will grow at 6.5%. Uh, it gives a range also between 6 to 6.8, but effectively it says 6.5 is likely to be the growth rate in the next financial year. Uh, and they, they say that this uh, projection is... Uh, uh, very similar to what other multilateral agencies like the World Bank and IMF and ADB have typically projected for India for the next financial year. Uh, to be sure, the, uh, the, the IMF, which came out with its latest update, uh, has projected uh, that India will grow at 6.1. So, uh, uh, signif I mean, definitely less than what, uh, what the economic survey expects. Uh, however, uh, the economic survey has also talked about some downsides uh, or downside risks to India's growth in the next financial year. Uh, one very significant one is uh, on the external sector, where uh, we are increasingly seeing that the global growth, while it may not be going into a recession, uh, it is rather muted. And actually, 2023 will see um, most economies sort of bottom out in their growth. And that effectively means that consumers in those economies will not be buying our exports as much. So which means that our exports will likely take a hit even as our domestic demand continues and the gap between exports and imports, the trade deficit will continue to perhaps rise. And that may actually create a lot of pressure on our uh, currency and, uh, and, and, and have a detrimental impact on, uh, on other uh, macroeconomic parameters. The other concern that the economic survey has outlined is with respect to the monetary tightening that is going around. Um, you know, uh, it is there is there is a case that if uh, uh, if this tightening carries on, or if in inflation uh, the uh, the higher interest rates stay high for long enough, then that may uh, create a, a sort of a drag on the 
the global economy as well as uh, India's economy because higher interest rates will hold back um, uh, from uh, producers from investing uh, in new capacities. So that's broadly the uh, sum and substance uh, or the key takeaways from the economic survey.